Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael and still on social login in today's tutorial, we are taking a look at login with Google. So I already have my login pages designed here, just as you saw for the uh, previous video that I was um, using Facebook. So all the pages are still the same, but this time around, I have my button, um, my button here, um, the button text change to login with Google. So you can just go ahead and change that. And then once you scroll down a bit where you have provider, you go ahead and change it from Facebook to Google. So once you're done, you need to provide a key for this as well as um, a secret code for this as well. So let's see how best we can generate those those codes and then use it as part of our project here. So I'm going to go ahead to come to console.developers.google.com and then you have the project selector. So this particular URL will bring you to um, your Google Developers Console. So for this particular project, you need to have a Google account. So these are some of the sample projects I've created in the past. But for this particular one, I'm going to create a new project. So I'll click on create project in here. And then I'm going to give my project a name. So I'm going to call this social login. And then um, so I'm just going, going to go ahead to hit on create. So once I have it created, so it's taking some few seconds. And once it's done creating it, I should see it as part of my project. So I'm actually taken to the project I just created. So that is it over here. Let me just go ahead and view it. So this is my project um, that I've created. There's actually some information about it, but let me come here and then come to API and services. So I'm going to go ahead to hit on credentials. So I need to create a credentials for this project, but before then I might have to do some configuration. So it's saying I should, I'll have to create OA, um, you know, and um, consent screen. So I have to come back here come to APIs and services and then click on all your consent, you know, um, screen. And then I need to provide some details about my application over here. So for this particular application, it's going to be external. I hit on create and then the app name is going to be social login, the email I'll just select it from my email here. And in case you want to add any logo, you can go ahead to add that to my case. I don't want to add that and then you provide a link to the app home page. So in my case, um, it is going to be demo, um, dot dapsonishmail.com. So dapsonishmail.com, um, forward slash, um, login. So this is going to be my, uh, my home page. So let me just copy that and then paste that in here. And then I need a privacy policy link. So. I already have one on my website. I'm just going to use that because this is for uh, demo purpose. I'm going to copy this as my privacy policy link. And then I'm going to also copy this as my terms of use link. So I'll paste that in here. And then I need to add a domain. So the domain is going to be HTG. Um, let me just make it up send So let me make sure that is right. So that's in HTML. So that's right. And I need to provide an a support email address. So this is going to be Dapson Ishmael at gmail.com. So that is done. I'm going to go ahead to hit on save and continue. So my um now it's the um o -ot, um that's authentic -ot consent um screen. And then so the next part is scopes. So I don't have to do anything over here, just hit on save and continue. I don't have to do anything here as well. Save and continue, and then finally uh, back to dashboard. So I'm done with the O or um, O A U T H um, consent screen. Let me come back to my um, this particular section where I click on this menu icon. Come back here, and this time around, click on credentials. So you know now I have my credentials, but um, you know um, available. So I'll go ahead and then click on create credentials, and then this time around, I'm going to use O um, authentication. You know client ID. So I click on that and I need to select the application type. So my case is going to be web application. So I'll select that and then I'll give my project a name. So this is social login and then I need to specify URL. So there's two types of URL, one for either JavaScript and then one for direct URL, so redirect URL. So I'm going to use this one instead and that I'll have to provide that from this. It's just um, the same thing here, but this time around changing this to Google. So let me just make this Google. And um, that's just about our ad. Uh, let me just uh, make sure. Okay, so I think I missed out on HTTP. So let me just add that. All right, so that is done. And I need to go ahead and then click on create. So my um, 
app has been created. So as you can see, I have the client ID as well as the secret key generated. So I'll copy this, come back to WYSIWYG Web Builder, double click on this. And then where I have key, I paste my client ID there, come back here where I have my secret um, key. I go ahead and I copy that and then paste that also in here. And then I'll go ahead and I hit on OK, uh, save this project and then publish it to my domain again. So I'm going to come back here. Let me refresh this and then move this to replace what I already have on my domain. So let me just overwrite this. And once that is done, let me come back in here and let me just um, load the application. So this is demo.dapsonhml.com. So I already have that here. So let me click on that. Come back here. Make sure I clear my history. So let me clear my history and hit on enter. So I have this page reloading again. Then this time around, I click on login with Google and I should have it working. So as you can see, I actually have it working. So I can go ahead to select any of the Google accounts I have over here. I know I'm going to get an error. This has to do with my uh, MySQL. That's no problem. But so once you have the um, login with Google working, that should be fine with you. So this is how to go about using um, the social login, especially with uh, Google and configuring the Google aspect to be able to authenticate um, the login of your um, WYSIWYG Web Builder website. So um, that's just about it for now. I'll take a look at how to go about the other options available. So we have um, Google, we have Facebook, then for Google and Facebook, the next one is going to be for Instagram, and then we'll take a look at LinkedIn as well.